Hello, this is an overview of the premium template that does multi-dimensional perceptual mapping. Uh, if you choose to purchase this template, this is what it looks like when you open it up. And you'll see that there are five tabs down the bottom. Uh, we're working in the first two primarily, sometimes the third for more analysis. Um, if you've never added what's called solder to Excel, and that is free to all Excel users. There's a little clue here how to add solver and you just follow the steps down. And then you go save the spreadsheet, then exit Excel and then reopen it. And then you check across off the data menu. Uh, yes, I have what's called solver. Uh, if you're an Apple Mac user, uh, very similar uh, series of steps, except you click on tools first and then add ins and you should get the solver. And there's a, a very occasionally, uh, some people have an error, uh, run, late, run the macro because it's sometimes got to be added twice. And again, there's just steps to follow. So, um, these are just in case. Okay. Let's have a look at how we use the template. So 25 brands attributes. And what we're going to do, what I've done here is set up some data. And here are some pretend brands, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and just some, some pretend numbers there. And I've put in some pretend attributes. And I, I put this on a scale of, of one to seven. You can do whatever you like. Whatever number you put in there, they will be standardized anyway. So you can use any, any scale. Uh, but just keep in mind, very important, that the higher the score, the higher the similarity. Okay, so if we have a look at fun, this one here, brand F is the highest. It scores six and therefore is seen as the most fun by consumers. But brand AAA here is only three. So that is a low similarity. So not overly perceived to be fun. Okay, so once you've got your data in there, uh, you go up here. Once the data is entered, you just run it. So you can see they're just steps. You put your title. Uh, you put your brands across there, but you can reverse it if you want. Attributes down, put your scores in, and then we'll click. I'm going to click it, and it's going to flick you here, and it's going to take about five minutes to run. Um, I'm going to pause it. Okay, I've just finished running the map, and when that happens, it clicks from this tab to the map tab automatically, and um, you see it gives it a correlation score, so the higher that is, any go over 70 or 80 is fantastic. And then it gives you um, uh, this mapping. Um, obviously, you would have a lot more attributes and brands on. Uh, over here is the ability, if you have a very cluttered map, to, to take something off. So we've got over here is reliable. So you could, you could change that to no and that would remove it. Um, I wouldn't do that in this case, but if you've got a lot in cluttered area, um, that might be worthwhile doing. And here we can see we've got uh, one of the brands over the top. So you can actually just move it down slightly. It really doesn't affect the accuracy of the map to, to do it to that extent. Okay, I've just clicked onto the radar tab to show you how this works. Once you've got all the data, you just click here and it will produce a radar chart for you. If there's one there or you've changed the data, you just click and delete the chart and then rerun it. Uh, if you have new data and again, you can just compare bits and pieces. Okay, so why I would use this is to, just to make sense of this map. So I've got F and lots of features in F and stylish. So then I would have a look at brand F here, which we can see is the, the darker blue color. And you can see it stands out on, on fun. It stands out as the highest on stylish, stands out the highest on uh, lots of features. And if we come over here, you can see it's not particularly innovative. So we go back to our map and um, we've got innovative down here. Fun, stylish, lots of features. Those attributes are put close to it. So we can say, OK, yep, this map is making sense. Because once we get this sort of map, and I'll just make it a fraction smaller, is we've got to look at the logic of it and we've got to analyze it uh, and make sense of it. So we've got to see who the competitors are what we're close to, etc. So pretty simply, that's how it works. 
if you wanted to go back in, change some of the data or update some of the data, you just click and rerun it.